Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Metroid Prime 2. And it's cleanup time as we look for the remaining keys and everything else we can. Now let's go check out what our light suit can do. So, we have everything here in the Great Temple. We've got like seven more items to get here in the Temple Grounds. 13 in Aegon, 11 in Torvis, and 2 in Sanctuary Fortress. So yeah, we've got to go across the whole world again, but Sanctuary Fortress looks like it'll probably be quick. But let's start with the place that has the most stuff. Let's go to Aegon. But why am I up here? Why, because of this little teleporter thing. With our light suit, we can ride beams of light. So let's do that. And here we are at the Aegon Temple. So yeah, that's some nice convenient fast travel. I mean, not that we can go anywhere we want instantly, but that's now more places that are connected. Anyways, like I said, there's like 13 things for us to collect here in Aegon, so... We'd better go find those. Or is there anywhere on the map that's, like, immediately obvious? I mean, there's a place we haven't explored, so let's go that way first. Are you kidding me? You random geometry, you dare get in my way? Anyways, let's get over here. So we need, what, Seeker Missiles for this, I believe? Is that what was blocking us before? I think so. Yeah. There we go, busting our way in. And this looks interesting. The space pirates are trying to convert it into a weapon based on analysis. So some weapon, huh? Or no, they're trying to turn this machinery into a weapon, I think. I think that's what it said. I wasn't paying that close of attention. There's some Denzium down there. I'm trying to scan stuff, but it's too far away and at too awkward an angle for me to target it properly. I mean, I could scan this, but let's actually check out what's down here that I can scan first. Don't just disappear on me like that. You can track him with the dark visor, but obviously I need to see him with the scan visor. Something about being able to see the world around them because this guy was blind, so he's seen using sound, it looks like. So he's like Daredevil. Anyways, Kralee. Morphology, Kralee. Dimension warping bioform. Able to phase out of local time space. Target creature before it warps to damage it. 
So yeah, we finally get to see the normal Krali, not like the green Krali, or there was probably like a dark Krali. So, getting closer and closer to being done with that logbook, of course, you know, the final boss is gonna have to be scanned, so we're not actually gonna be done with this until the end. It looks like there's a few little things to activate. This looks like it activate an orb cannon. Hello, lore. Are you- yes, you're the last lore. The stellar object. By the time we detected the stellar object as it streaked toward our world, it was too late to stop it. We fired numerous weapons at it in vain attempt- in a vain attempt to alter its trajectory. Nothing worked. Our efforts placed a great strain on the energy controllers and weakened ether. All we could do as the object drew closer was take shelter and wait. We gathered stores of food and water, reinforced the shielding on our dwellings, and spent the last hours in peace. Dark way to end the lore. But anyways, before we mess with all of this nonsense, let's actually go down and scan that thing that we... Like, let's, let's just take care of all the stuff down here first. So we didn't scan this. This looks like that'll also activate an orb cannon. Which just gets us back up to where we were. There's one of these bomb slots here. So that spins that thing around. So we should be able to blow this up with a power bomb. That gets us out of here. Or no, that gets us into a secret room. But yeah, that thing will spin for a limited amount of time. Let's get what's in here first, since it's a dead end. Alright, missile expansion. Oh man, uh, that's the first thing we collected since coming here, right? Yes, it is. Okay, because I, I have to keep track now. But anyways, that's 1 out of 13. Now let's try heading up here. We can boost up this way, and that could take us to something interesting. I don't think it's the way we want to go right now. But yeah, this just gets us on top of the propeller thing, which I'm sure would hurt us if we got on it while it was spinning. So now, let me quick show you what the only other thing that we haven't interacted with does. Because this raises the propeller. But then it just goes back down. So, what is the solution to the puzzle? Basically, we want to do the two bomb slots in succession. We want to get this thing spinning. And then get up there and make it rise before it stops spinning.
And that opens a pathway to the portal. It even gets the propeller stuck. Which means that we need to actually go up top in order to drop down to there. Nice, I made it up just fine. What are you- oh! Dark Burst right there. That's what we're looking for. For a second I thought it was a creature and I'm like, what are you? But yeah, you probably have a good idea of what the Dark Burst is. Hello. It's like a lot of people died here, even though we only see one body here. Light ammo, please. All right. Hello, Night Barb. You're the same Night Barb as always, so scanning you isn't really important. But you are letting me know that there's a little crack in the wall there that some people might miss. But where... I, I mean, oh, I know what this is. Okay. I know where we are in the overall map now. So we just want to ignore that dark power up for now and just keep going. Okay, so I can get up he back up here if I want to. I just don't want to. And here we are, finally back at this place. Where I said this gate never opens, and that's because we just come in through the door. And we go through a portal, and we just go back through the same door in a different dimension. Which is now the only way for us to go since there's no portal back. Okay, look out, sand bats. And there is our dark burst. Dark burst acquired. Let's look at it in our inventory real quick. And I hear enemies for us to test it out on. Just like with the sunburst. So yeah, five missiles and 30 dark ammo. It's a lot of dark ammo, just like with the sunburst being a lot of light ammo.
All right, let's try this out. Okay, that makes a black hole. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Anyways, that's two items down in Aegon Waste. Probably some of the most time-consuming items to get here. For now, though, we just want to get back to where we've already been. I think there might be something to get across the way here. I see war wasps here, but they're the normal war wasps, so there's not going to be like a dark hive or anything for me to scan there. But yeah, over here... We've got a thing we can do now that we can use the screw attack to actually get to this platform. So this is Denzium. We need a power bomb for that. And we can get a power bomb in exchange. Three items down, ten to go in Aegon. I, uh, you know, I could keep going that way, actually. But it's a little high up, so I'm gonna have to head back this way. And then blast across. Okay, so into the Space Pirate base should get us some stuff here. We don't need to go to that elevator. Back in the room where we first fought Dark Samus. We've got these, uh, spider ball tracks. Which gives us a little area to go through up here. Past the Phazon tanks. So we're going to have some boosting to do. Got to get through the little gaps in the bars. As well as, you know, make sure you time it properly. Nope. You're going the wrong way, Samus. Get back here. No! Thankfully, there's a little escape there if you mess up. It's just awkward to angle your shots sometimes. It's like the ice cap stage in Sonic Adventure when you're grabbing those icicles. And you're trying to jump from one to another. The angle is just awkward sometimes. Like, it's hard to tell where you're pointing. But it looks like I've got it. Yeah, right here. Destroyed by explosives to get our to get us a missile expansion. Four items down, nine to go. Do we have a way out of this? Oh, here we go. It was just really dark. On my screen, at least, I have no clue what it looks like on yours.
So, we do have more things to get around here. Let's check this out. I am not going the way I thought I was going. Let's head back. As soon as I went into this room, I was like, this doesn't look right. I was trying to go over this way. Yeah, because in here, there was, like, stuff to mess with over this way. So there's some way to get into there. And I'm honestly not quite sure how. Where is there other stuff to interact with in this room? Unless there's something I need to do back here first, like if we follow that wire, but I don't think that's the case. I don't see anything else to interact with here, unless... I don't have to get in there from the dark, do I? I don't think so. That's not a morph ball tunnel, is it? I don't know how I would get in there. There's no portal in there. I mean, unless it's like one of those weird things where it's like you do something in one world and it affects the other world. I know there's a thing in here. I just don't know what to do about it. Alright, let's save real quick and we'll come back to that later. We're gonna have to be running circles around this place anyways, so we might as well look for something else we can do in the meantime. Like, I must have been missing something obvious in that room. They're not going to make you go to a different room to take care of that. Anyways, back in here, there's Metroids here now. Metroids that I want to easily get rid of with my screw attack, if possible. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, let's see if we can put these steps back up. That guy evaded me. Okay, so these are still set up in the orientation I had them last. That's good. Now I just need to actually successfully platform up there. I 
And now I can... I can hopefully get to that door from here. It's being a little awkward. Whoa, I just realized how I'm supposed to get over there. I'm just gonna power bomb you. There's spider ball tracks over here. I'm sure the screw attack method would work, but... It's not the intended method, that's for sure. I don't want to miss out on the spider ball track. Oh man, I almost lost it on that one. Sheesh, that's... Yeah, we don't need to go any further over. We want to go this way. And now we can head around, and this should get us exactly to where we want to go. Alright. So this leads us to a missile expansion. Five items down, eight to go. I think we can scan something new over this way. We just have to turn this around here. Is it possible for me to destroy this gate so I don't have to do that? I can't even seem to scan the gate, so... Well, here we go. Yeah, I can. No, I, I can't seem to destroy the gate. Oh, that's what the cocoons are. Metroid cocoon. That's not the scan I was thinking of, but that's all of- that's everything for the research. Morphology, Metroid Cocoon. Storage chamber for young Talon Metroids. Biomass to support Talon Metroid infants. Lacks armor or shielding. So yeah, what I was planning on scanning wasn't the cocoons. But what pops out of the cocoons? I see one floating around down there, coming towards me. It doesn't look like you can scan the cocoons after they're destroyed. But yeah, here we go. Morphology, Infant Talon Metroid, Genetically Engineered Energy Parasite. Ramming attack will do minor damage. Exposure to Phazon will mutate them into a deadly version. So yeah, we've seen all the types of Metroids in this game now. I know there's a collectible in here somewhere. Yeah, just screw them. Cocoons, please stop. Oh. 
we just saw that AB Metroid grow up. So we actually get to see that happen. Cool. But also, I want these guys gone. I gotta get rid of these cocoons, man. Ah, uh, there's two cocoons up there. There's so many of them. Gotta get out of the phase on. Stop pushing me into the phase on, baby Metroid. These ones don't think Samus is their mama. They're deadly. Okay, now to look for whatever secret is here, assuming it's- assuming I'm not mixing it up with the Dark World. Which I very well could be. <sighs> and I probably am. So let's see, the last item we got was in there. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've collected five things so far here. I'm not finding wherever this thing is, so I'm thinking maybe it's a Dark World thing. No other visors are helping me with this, so yeah, I'm gonna assume it's a Dark World thing. I just know there's one in that room. I'm gonna say it's Dark World time. So I believe all five of the things we've collected so far were in the Light World. There should be three more things in the Light World, but... Uh, the five others should be here in the Dark World. For now, let's just go backwards through this place, like, just the way we came. But seeing if there's anything else to get, because I know that there is. I'm just not sure where all exactly. So this is the room where I couldn't find something. Also... By the way, with the light suit, Dark Ether's atmosphere doesn't hurt me anymore, and we can go into this toxic water, and we're fine. So the item, yeah, that's what I thought, is underwater. 
It's a power bomb expansion. The only effect of the light suit that you haven't got to see yet is that uh, ink storms don't hurt it. So yeah, there's that. Um, let's just try to get through here right now. And yeah, like this toxic air that these things spew out are no problem. There's not anything like down here, is there? I don't think I ever really explored down here. But I think it's just a pit. Okay, so we've got Dark Metroids in here, which I kind of don't want to deal with. I'm not trying to dodge them, I'm trying to go through them. There we go. So we should be able to get to a new place here. Now that we have our screw attack. I believe we want to start out by getting up to one of those platforms. And there's that annihilator door up there. Which we can now jump to. Yep, I need the keys to get through the gateway. That's our main mission right now. Just collect the Sky Temple keys. I'm working on it. So yeah, Annihilator Beam, and what is this? Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, da 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 So yeah, that's our Annihilator Beam combo. So we have all the beam combos, we have all of the unique items in this game now. So let's take a look at that in our inventory. Sonic Boom. And yeah, 5 missiles and 30 light and 30 dark ammo, that is a costly weapon. And there's no enemies here for us to test it on, so we'll have to remember to test it later. Preferably, you know, when we're close to a missile recharge, which... There actually should be one not too far away. So I might just test this out next time I see enemies. Yeah, Phazon still hurts. Dark suit and light suit and all that, they're, they're no Phazon suit. Let's give it a quick save here. I kind of want to get a little more stuff before I end the video. Mm -hmm. 
Now over to here. Is there anything we can do in here to affect what this room is like in the light world? Like, does moving that upward do anything for me? I don't think so. Also, now that we have the light suit, the dark world is now safer than the light world because we don't get damaged by the atmosphere and we still get healed by these little safe zones. So yeah, dark world is officially now safer than the light world. Oh right, I'm supposed to test out this weapon. Okay. That looked interesting. I don't think I got a super good look at it, but uh, we can just fill our ammo right back up here. But anyways, we are in an important area because Key Bear lore pointed to this room. The Dark Oasis, also known as Main Reactor. I'm pretty sure that the Key Bear lore specifically referred to an oasis. There's a lagoon, mining station, reactor, Was it Reactor? Maybe it was Reactor. Okay, so the clues here refer to the Light World versions of the room then. It was be still here. They said reactor, and I'm pretty sure this was reactor in the light world. Yeah, main reactor. So anyways, this is Denzium, so let's get our power bombs out. And there's just a bunch of liquid, and it looks like... Is that in storms? Yeah, there are, so... Yeah, we'd be super dead in here without the light suit. But if we go under the water here... I think there's actually something important to scan down here. All right, where do I go from here? I know there's a way to go. Where is it? Why aren't I seeing a pathway? Is it like hidden behind these steps? Where is it? Oh, I thought there was an, a little cavern in here, but I guess this guy's just right here. Well, 
Was I thinking of somewhere else? Well, we got our Sky Temple key. Well, all right then. From here, I, I want to quick go back into the light world and see if I can figure that one room out because it's still driving me nuts. Plus, there's like a save room right near here, so that's convenient too. Like, I just don't get what the issue is. Seek an alternate method to access it. What other pathway is there? Oh, is there a path up there that I just didn't see? Here we go. Well, that makes things much simpler. Sand drain control system online. I mean, I saw that it looked like a half-pipe, but I didn't think there was any room to do any half-piping in the... in the light world, but there's not really any way to do it in the dark world either, now that I take a look at it. But now that we've drained that sand, we can get this missile expansion. All right, of course, now in order to get back up there, we have to do the boost ball. And there's our save station. So yeah, we're gonna end it here. We didn't quite get all the remaining items in Aegon Waste, but we got a good amount. I've kind of lost track, so I'll figure out how much is left here uh, between videos. But yeah, we'll keep collecting more in the next video. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.